Qatar and Guyana signed multiple agreements as Sheikh Tamim wraps up a one-day visit. Our Doha News team provides all the updates on the ground in both Morocco and Libya. Sheikh Moza bint Nasser spotlights the growing challenges of education around the world as she meets the UN chief in New York. And finally, the results from Al Anabi's match against Russia. Hi, it's Ali. This is the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar signed three agreements with Guyana on Tuesday during an official state visit by the Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani to Georgetown. The agreements encompassed economic, commercial and technical cooperation as well as the protection of mutual investments. Sheikh Tamim wrapped up the one-day visit to Guyana before then heading to El Salvador for the second leg of his South American tour. Now, Qatar's Lekhuya forces have been active and busy in multiple countries that have been hit by two separate natural disasters in the last week. Doha News journalists are joining the forces on the ground in both countries. In Marrakesh on Tuesday, Lekhuya forces donated blood to hospitals across the city where thousands are in urgent need of emergency supplies. Hours later, Doha News journalists on the ground filmed the moment the Qatari rescuers pulled out a lifeless woman from the rubble. Morocco has been grappling with a humanitarian crisis after a 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck the country. Over in Libya, flooding has left more than 5,000 dead and thousands more missing. Early on Wednesday, Doha News boarded a Qatari Amiri flight delivering essential aid and medical supplies to Benghazi. The 60 tons of aid included a field hospital and essential supplies such as tents, blankets, generators and more. Now, Sheikha Moza bint Nasser, chairperson of the Education Above All Foundation, met with the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres at the agency's headquarters in New York. The two officials discussed ongoing challenges and efforts between the EAA and the UN to ensure children and young people in conflict-affected areas have access to education. And finally, al Anabi were struck a disappointing blow in the 89th minute as they were held to a 1-1 draw against Russia at Al Janoub Stadium on Tuesday evening. The team looked set to be cruising to a comfortable home victory when Russian defender Alexander Soldantenkov scored a header of his own in the dying moments of the game. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.